Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to use the graphical method of solving equations using decimals. Please remember that in the method that we're going to use today, we are going to use the equal values method backwards. To better understand this, I am going to give you some examples. Let's take this first one right here. So we already have the uh, algebraic method in solving for this equation that we have right here. But how do we um, solve this equation using graphical method? So again, we are going to use the equal values method backwards. So what are we going to do is we are going to equal this left side of the equation equal to y. So we equal this to y and then we equal this 5 also to y. So on the side you will see the video on how to um, set this up on decimals. So as you can see we have y is equal to 3 absolute value of 2x minus 4 minus 1. And the other equation would be y equals 5. As you can see here that, uh, as you can see on the, uh, on the side, you will see that the solution, that the solutions are 3 and 1. So we're looking for the x value only. So the solutions would be 3 and 1. So both graphical and algebraic method will come out, will give the same answer. So we also have another example right here. So in order that we can set this up, we are supposed to, again, uh, use the equal values method backwards. So this right left side of the equation will be equal to y. And this right side of the equation will be equal to y. So that is the graphical method. On the side, you will see the video on how I set up this equation or how I solve this equation graphically using decimals. So I, we have to type in y equals 3 square root of x minus 2. I have to make sure that the minus 4 is outside the square root. And then the other equation is y equals 2. And then we can see that the solution is x is 6. So we are we are looking for x only. So I know there's y value in there, but we are supposed to solve for x. So our x value is 6. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we have here the um, algebraic method for solving this equation right here. To solve this using the graphical method, again, we set this um, left side of the equation equal to y. And then we set this right side of the equation equal to y. So when we type this into decimals, it has to be this side is equal to y and this side is equal to y. On the right side, you will see the video on how I set up this equation on decimal so I can solve this graphically. So we have to write y equals negative parentheses 2x minus 4 parentheses x minus 3 parentheses. And for the second equation, so this should be two equations in here, so that is y equals 4x minus 20. And there are two solutions for this. We take only the x value. x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 1. So pretty much both the algebraic and the graphical method will give us the same um, answer. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we're supposed to determine the solution for this equation that we have here. Again, we are supposed to use the graphical method. And the graphical method is actually making use of the equal values methods backwards. So in this problem that we have here, we are supposed to um, equal the left side of the equation to y. So when we type it into decimals, that should be y equals this. And then we equal this right side to y. So that is y equals x plus 7 side you will see the um, video on how I set up this um, equation on decimals that's y equals x cubed plus 3x minus 5 and then the other equation would be y equals x plus 7. As you can see the solution that we have for this is uh, there's two of them both x and y but we're taking only the x so our solution is x is equal to 2. So when we solve for this using the um, algebraic method we are able to solve x is equal to 2. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. 
Perfect, now let's move on to the next one right here. So we are supposed to set this up on decimals. Again, the trick here is that we are supposed to equal the left side to y. So that is y equals this equation and we equal the right side to y as well and we put it into decimals. So as you can see on the side, I have a video on how I set this up into decimals. So the first equation would be y equals two parentheses x plus two to the fourth power minus three and and the second equation is y equals 16x plus 29. As you can see, both of the two graphs meet at uh, two points, but we're, we're taking the x only since we're solving for x. So that is x is equal to zero is the first solution. And the other solution is x is equal to negative two. Again, we're taking only the x value since we're solving for x. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!